Chicago streets. Our streets. Say our streets our and mean it. Right. Mean it. Whose streets? Our streets. What up, what up, what up? This your boy Bass, and y'all tuned in to another episode of Ian's Podcast. Man, in this episode in particular, man, we're going to be touching on a rapper that the younger generation might not know too much about, but I know if you in that 25 and older group, you know about that song, Riding Dirty. You know about that Houston wave that came with that screwed up music. Man, <laughs> y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, man. Uh, Chameleonaire, Chameleonaire, however you want to pronounce it. Chameleonaire, Chameleonaire. Um, you feel me? Known for the song Riding Dirty. Uh, he had a few other hits too, as well. But he also came out with that, you know, that that Paul Wall, um, that Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. That Mike Jones um, era. You feel me? Switch House and you feel me? That whole screwed up click. Um, you feel me? They also had, you know, Slim Thug, you know, uh, you feel me? He came out during a time where, you feel me, Houston music was on top, and They was doing their thing. They was doing their thing for real, for real. And he had a, um, a smash hit, you feel me? Uh, he even won, you feel me, the 2006 Grammy Awards for Best Rap Performance by a duo group. Uh, but... We don't want to talk too much about his music. We gonna talk more about um, Chameleonaire as a as an entrepreneur. You feel me? And what big move he did last year. And I know, yeah, y'all gonna be like, damn, what you bringing up something from last year? I feel like it's, it's last year, but it's something that we need to be thinking about that we could do currently. You feel me? And I, and I understand. Um, like I say, everybody, you know, and every, you know, everybody got their own type of situation that they're in. You feel me? But. We use our voice to, you feel me, kind of help and not kind of to help empower, but also, you know, get t- testimonies and, you feel me, shed light on what's going on to help you get through your current circumstance. So right now, um, you feel me, there's probably a female uh, woman, you feel me, of color, you feel me, uh, it's probably a black beautiful queen out there that's embarking on her journey of being, uh, you feel me, an entrepreneur, and that's really on that startup grind, you probably got a dog ass idea, dog ass business model, and you probably got everything it takes besides the actual capital, and that's where, you feel me, if you're coming from, you feel me, especially if you black, let's keep it all the way 100, if you black, um, I ain't gonna say eight times out of ten, but it just it's a very high percentage that you coming from a short end of the stick where you come into the ball game where you don't have the same funding or back end that somebody else may come in with. So because you coming in with that disadvantage, you already short handed when they I mean they already the statistics say that most startups fail within the first three years due to either poor structure poor organization like just 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 uh just the whole organization just communication just poor business model um or just lack of funding you feel me they run out of money or you you feel me they didn't have enough money uh but long story short you feel me uh can uh Get millionaire, you feel me? He teamed up with uh, E40. Shout out to E40 out there in the Bay. That's another dude um, that we gonna talk about in a, you know in another uh, podcast episode. But he's also a fellow entrepreneur. But these two teamed up with a portfolio company called Republic. You feel me? And he invested twenty five thousand into a startup fi- um, <clears throat> founded by a woman. You feel me? A color. 
And to me, I feel like that's pretty dope, especially when you start thinking about the image that's behind hip hop music and rappers in general. You feel me? Everybody always get to talking about how rappers always talking uh, talking about bitches and hoes and how rappers are degrading women and stuff like that. But you got a rapper right here um, that's really not being publicized. You don't really see him uh, trending on Facebook or Instagram. Everybody now, you know, talking about him. He ain't getting interviewed. Um, like that But he is doing interviews But he doing interviews in markets where People from his own culture ain't really getting a chance to You know, soak up what it is that he's actually doing And the reason why I say that is Because you could go find out about what uh, uh I, I, I could call him Chimillionaire Because he be saying in his rap But Chimillionaire is doing um, On like, you know, uh, platforms like Yahoo Finance Now let's be real Man, a lot of us ain't really going on Yahoo Finance to learn about, you feel me, black entrepreneurs that are really doing their 